and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Ashley Stepper. And I'm Pierre LaMonica. In today's episode, we'll discuss upcoming events, pirate sports, and your five-day weather forecast. Today, the Slavic Club will showcase the popular Russian movie, Prisoner of the Mountains. The 1996 war drama film was directed by Sergei Bodrov and was based on a Caucasian war era short story, The Prisoner of the Caucasus. The film illustrates the conflicting views between traditional Chechen culture and Russian warfare through the use of soundtrack, costuming, and arms. For more information, contact Anna Kuchta at anna.kuchta at shu.edu. Join us from 11 to 2 p.m. in Bethany Hall for an opportunity to meet the deans and faculty of the School of Diplomacy. Participate in many topic-driven presentations and discussions with members of our faculty and learn more about graduate programs and specializations, undergraduate programs, internship opportunities, and professional development. Admission requirements, financial aid, student community, and more. Meet current graduate and undergraduate students and get their insider perspective on life at the School of Diplomacy. Lunch is provided and a campus tour is included. Seats are limited, so register today. On Friday from 1 to 3 p.m., come to Space 154 in the Walsh Library to participate in the Popsicle Bridge Challenge. Competitors are given the task of making the most aesthetically pleasing yet strong bridge out of Popsicle sticks. For more information, contact Alex Pelea at alex.pelea at shoe.edu. The English Department faculty will be holding their annual talent show to fundraise for a charity of their choice tonight, Thursday, March 7th. The English Department will be showcasing their various talents from spoken word poetry to singing. The event will take place in the Cove at 6 p.m. For more information, contact mary.balkin at shu.edu. And now we'll send it over to Liam Plate with your Seton Hall Sports Update. Liam? Hello, Pirate Nation. My name is Liam Plate, and here is your Seton Hall Sports Update. After last night's game, the men's basketball team now awaits to play their last home game of, 20, of the 2019 season before the official Big East Tournament. The last game will also be Senior Day at noon at Prudential as the team faces Villanova, a game you will not want to miss. The Seton Hall women's golf team ended with a 12th place tie at a darkness and snow shortened River Landing Classic last Monday and Tuesday. Juniors Maddie Sager and Lizzie Wynn were key players, each shooting a four over par. Next, the team will play again on Sunday, March 17th at the William and Mary Intercollegiate at Kings Mill Resort in Virginia. Seton Hall junior Noah Thompson was named Big East Pitcher of the Week on Monday. This is the second time in three weeks this season that Thompson has been awarded this title, and he was also on the weekly honor roll two weeks ago. Impressively, the junior threw a career-high 8.1 score scoreless innings and scattered just two hits against UVA. He also struck out six batters and walked only one. Next up, the men's baseball team will play Florida International on fr Friday, March 8th in Miami. Lastly, Seton Hall women's basketball player Shadeen Samuels was named Big East Player of the Week again for her performance in the regular season finale. The award marks Samuels' third Player of the Week certificate and eighth overall conference honor this season. Her career high in points at 33 at the season finale game, leading the Pirates to a com comeback win at St. John's. Now the, the eight-seed Pirates will take on nine-seed St. John's at the 2019 Big East Tournament. And that's all for your Seton Hall Sports Update. Once again, I'm Liam Plate, and now back to Ashley and Pierre with more of the news you need to know. Tickets are now on sale for the Women and Media Career Summit. Contact the Career Center for more details about how to get access. The conference will feature opportunities in the areas of business where women are traditionally underrepresented and will seek solutions to the problem through keynotes, talks, and workshops. The event will take place on Friday, April 12th from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the New York Stock Exchange. For more information, contact Gina Hernandez. Tomorrow, Friday, March 7th, is the last day to submit a course withdrawal form with a professor and dean signature. Forms can be found online at chew.edu and make sure to submit them before you go home for spring break. Contact an academic advisor for more information. Now we'll send it over to Veronica Gale with your five-day weather forecast. Veronica? Thanks, Pierre. My name is Veronica Gale, and this is your five-day weather forecast for the South Orange area. We will start off today with some mostly cloudy skies to go along with a high of 33 degrees and a low of 16. Tomorrow we'll bring some afternoon snow showers, but there will be a high of 37 and a low of 25 degrees. Conditions will get warmer as the weekend rolls around, as Saturday brings mostly sunny skies to pair with a high of 45 degrees and a low of 33. The clear skies will not last as the rain is in the forecast for Sunday to go with a high of 50 and a low of 38. Finally, we will begin the week of spring break with mostly sunny skies for Monday as there will be a high of 50 and a low of 29 degrees. Well, that's all for your five-day weather forecast. Once again, I'm Veronica Gale. Now back to Pierre and Ashley with more of the news you need to know. Thanks, Veronica. Professor and best-selling author Lee Miller will be on the WSOU show, Thank God for Monday. Miller will be speaking with brother Greg Cellini about the art and science of strategic influencing and his upcoming seminar series. The show will be airing on Saturday at 8.30 a.m. on WSOU 89.5 FM. 
Tomorrow is the last day of classes before break. Remember to clean up your rooms, take everything you need home, and fill out your HRL checklist. For those who are staying, by now you must have filled out the break housing application. If you have not done so, be sure to speak with the housing director immediately or prepare to stay in a hotel. Enjoy the break and take this time to relax and have fun before midterms start. This concludes this episode of Pirate News. I'm Ashley Stepper. And I'm Pierre LaMonica. Enjoy your spring break, Pirates, and thanks for watching the show.